And we're back. What's up? Another day here. Still working on this fuel system. They're basically all uh, fittings for our fuel lines here. You got some of these right here that are supposed to be threaded on. You move this lower piece and the upper piece. Uh, you secure that to your fuel line. Then you thread this on over that. Uh, and these are the ones that I like. I have these push on fittings here that are supposed to be just push them in. So say your the lines here push it in, it clips, it snaps. Um, Russell's a really pretty nice company, man, because if you look inside of these little pamphlets here, you have instructions. So it's telling you when it's properly, sleep, properly seated, improperly seated. Um, the problem I have is these here came, they were loose when I put them on, so I'm thinking maybe they're improperly seated. We can give them another go. Um, Maybe they're not bad, maybe I just didn't put it on right. But I can say that these here, I've already installed one. These things are snug, they are secure, and I feel a lot more comfortable with that. And I just dropped them. I feel a lot more comfortable with that. So we want to be putting these on here on the, our uh, sending and return lines. Our vent line doesn't really need it. Um, we're gonna be, so check it out, it's pretty simple. So yeah, we're gonna open this one, this is the 6 a.m. Mel to 3.8 SAE standard. Um, QD female threaded. Uh, here's the back side of it. Front side with the part number. We're gonna open this up. So basically right here is where it comes apart. Here's your base on my left hand. And here is your crown threading, I'm gonna call it, because it goes over the top and it secures, you know what I mean? So basically it's gonna go right like this. See that? You got your slim side with the little beveled tip there. All right, and we're back, phone fell, whatever. So yeah, it's right there on the tip. Get this one, thread it over. It's aluminum, be careful. You don't wanna cross thread it. You don't wanna mess it up. But once you get it nice and snug, Boy is, it, boy is it on there and I like that, it feels good. It's not, I'm trying to twist it right now and it's, I mean, it can be tightened up with these wrenches, but I'm sure it's gonna be all the way on there securely. And I feel super comfortable about these. So just to review, try looking to get anything like that. I didn't get these off of Amazon, got these off of Summit. I believe, honestly, I think I got all of these off of Summit except for these other ones, these Chinese or Chineseier ones. These are definitely a lot more. These are bald eagles. These are not. These are not. There's no cacao coming out of these bad boys. So these right here are the evil energy ones. I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm not gonna doubt evil energy. Just this style, the push on, the push lock is what I'm not a fan of. But these are the ones from Amazon. Great price, great deal, good shipping. The packaging is nice. Um, but the Russells, man, I'm gonna tell you the Russells, these thread-ons are the way to go for so, me. So we're going this style right here. I'm gonna try to use these push-on fittings um, since I already got them, but I don't wanna have to buy some more. I actually wanna buy some more, but I don't wanna have to wait for them. The weight is what kills me. I'm impatient, I don't know about y'all. I'm not a waiter. So we're gonna start making the lines also off of Amazon. These are the ones, this is the holes I got last time. Um, Amazon holes. This time I got Amazon holes again, but from a different vendor. And the packaging is just way nicer. Just way freaking nicer. Um, the holes looks basically identical. And this is from Finkos, V-I-N-C-O-S. It's not a focus, but it is what it is. Along with that, we have our fuel filter, the Dash 6 line fittings are here. I want to mix those up because I'll be F. I'm going to put those back, and this is a no-name knockoff Amazon. Again, this here is the Evil, Evil Energy. Came with installation instructions, which, I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory, but still, I always enjoy getting these in packaging whenever I have no clue what in the world I'm doing. So stay tuned, I'm gonna put this together. Y'all missed it. If I didn't show it, 
Here's our Quantum fuel pump. It's a knockoff Walbro 255. Our sock on the level, for the uh, fuel tank level. You got your hose that was included in the kit with the sending unit. Uh, I just zip tied it in basically. The original clip that it had was not the correct one for this Walbro 255. Luckily, the uh, the sent one, and I forget what brand this is. Spectra, Spectra. This is a Spectra sending unit. I got a Spectra tank. Spectra sent an extra clip in here because I'm sure they knew that some pumps come with this opposite clip right here that plugs into the pump, and uh, which is cool because I just spliced it in with some butt connectors through some uh, heat shrink wrap. Now we got these uh, fittings on here, and we're re basically ready to put it back in the tank. We're back. Sorry, I had to go sell some stuff. You know how that Facebook stuff goes. And that is it. Okay, so pretty simple. You drop in the sitting unit, and then this little locking ring goes up like that. So basically, the smooth side goes down, and the rougher edge, the rougher looking side, is what spins up like this. Switches right here. So that little ring, this ring, I have to. That one spins in and locks on these locking tabs. And now your fuel pump, your sending unit, is completely in there and it's all the way good. It's me? Yeah. Dad. Just give it a little tap. Go. Hold it tight. That's good. So, this is our. Knock off. Not a knock off, it's just a imported, uh, I'm sure it's from like Japan or China, probably Chinese, uh, fuel filter that we're going to be using. It is from Evil Energy. You can see that. And it has a little bit of instruction here. Uh, some cool pictures, I mean. Somebody went through some trouble putting this together. I'm not gonna read it, <laughs> but that's cool that it has it. I really appreciate when companies send you some instructions on really simple items because sometimes I don't know anything about the simple items at all. So I do appreciate that. Now we do have three different sizes of fittings here. They all are the same uh, inlet here for the actual filter itself but they are different on the outlet side, um, size of threads. We'll come over here to the Dash 6. They do come with O-rings here. You can see the O-rings. Um, these right here, the O-rings are still not attached. So you can see that. And so that's pretty cool if you need different sizes of it. If you're planning on running different size line, that's pretty helpful. Say you have a boosted forced induction, something with a lot of power. My stuff's gonna be pretty basic for now. I do have plans for it later on, but uh, for now it's gonna be pretty stock. So we're gonna throw these on here, and these are dash six ends. So we're gonna tighten this up. I don't have the right wrench for that. We'll get them hand tight for now. It's gonna be under about. It's gonna be probably about 60 to 80 pounds worth of pressure on this. So you want to make sure that it is snug. You don't want it to be too loose. Uh, what am I looking for? Ah, the dash six hose connection. So basically this is your dash six hose connection. Uh, it's right here. You're gonna be putting the hose in. In right here. Um, you can see that's threaded in there. There's threads right in here. You put the holes, the sides already connected, but you put it in like so, to where it sits like this. Push it in and uh, clockwise spin it with some pressure downwards in a vise, preferably with the tool if you have it. If you don't, you can get by, but that's how you get it on. Once that's on there, this piece here goes inside the hose, 
both inside of the hose and uh, you tighten it down which causes the compression on this and causes it to stay put and keeps your stuff nice and sealed. So what we're going to do now is put this on the hoses in. So put this on the hose in and then after that we can uh, thread it on to here. This will be the easy part is threading it on because it swivels and then it tightens up and then it stops spinning so that'll leave us some room here so we want to put this in on first on the holes in probably somewhere about here probably about two to three foot worth of holes so we're going to cut that up right now and put that together and i'll keep y'all posted So I just realized that I had the TV on way too loud, so the audio is going to be crap for this whole video. I'm sorry about that. But we got the line hooked up for the sending unit to the filter. It's looking good. We got the 45 degree on there. Uh, I'm not worried about the return line just yet because I don't have a measurement from the fuel rail return line all the way here to the tank. I'm going to install the tank first. It's going to be inside the truck. Um, the rail, the frame is going to be right here. So this is gonna bolt in to the inside of that frame. And uh, the shitty thing about this Chinese fuel filter, they didn't send a brace for it, a bracket, a little thing to hold it. Not a big deal, we can make our own, nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, so we got plenty of fuel on here, dash six. Um, we got some more down there, with some more fittings. And basically everything to hook up, hook, hook up. We're gonna hook up everything to hook up the, uh, fuel rails to the fuel lines uh found this on my facebook group ls swapped c10s they kind of had a file for all of this stuff and you just got to click the individual links and go go buy it man yeah put some money down put your money where your mouth's at so yeah that's it we're gonna stop the video here uh i hope you all enjoyed the content tonight I know my last two videos have been a little um, less informative on what I'm using and how I'm using it. So this video, I feel like y'all got to see some parts. I'm gonna list some uh, some links to some of these fittings, especially these two right here. I love those. My Amazon Dash 6 line kit, the one that I like with the better packaging. I'm gonna list that one. Um, and yeah, so y'all wanna check that out, info box below. Y'all can check that out for yourselves. And uh, catch y'all later. Y'all be safe. Peace out.